Right, are we ready to check out this gym, Typhlosion? For what I remember, this is going to be an Ice-type gym. Price is a veteran who has trained Pokemon for some 50 years. As you'll find, his attacks will make you shiver in this freezing gym. Are you ready to be frozen solid? <laughs> I mean, keep up a hot fighting spirit against ice. Yeah, thanks for that. Right, okay, so I think to get around this gym, we just gotta uh, make our way around these puzzles. But you know what? There's plenty of Pokemon trainers along the way, so let's battle them. To get the price, our gym leader, you need to think before you skate. Which is fair enough. And I'm challenging Skier Diana. Ah, first time we've seen a Jinx. Now this is more like it, level 29. Why didn't, uh, uh, why didn't uh, Team Rocket have Pokemon uh, at this high level? And it's making me wonder just how high a level uh, Price's Pokemon are going to be. But on the plus side, Typhlosion has just leveled up again, which is nice. I wouldn't lose to you in skiing. Yeah, well, this is a Pokemon gym, not a ski slope. So, um... Sorry, I kind of had the advantage. This gym has a slippery floor. It's fun, isn't it? But hey, we're not playing games here. Yeah, you're right. We're here to battle. Yeah, me and Typhlosion. We mean serious business. Uh, pat on. Don't know what happened there. Looked like a slight bit of slow down there on the emulator, but uh, whatever. Seems to be working fine. Anyway, first off, you sent out Swine up. No match for Typhlosion. <laughs> and another swine up. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah. Yeah, this is the problem with me bringing uh, a fire type with me. Yeah, I mentioned this before, like, having a fire type Pokemon to do the Johto gyms is probably the best thing to do because, yeah, Typhlosion is good against quite a lot of these gyms. Let's think about it. Uh. There was the Gym of Azalea. Then there was uh, the Gym in Olivine. And now this one. So that's three gyms that uh, Typhlosion would be strong against. Also, I think this is the way to do this. Yep. Whereas something like Chikorita. It will be definitely a much harder experience, and you have definitely have to use different Pokémon, that's for sure. In fact, I don't think we've had a gym battle, like a like a gym experience that Chikorita would be strongest against. Because what we had, we had Flying, Bug, also Seal, that's not ideal, so I tell you what, let's just switch to Ampharos. Uh, so we've had Flying, Bug, Normal Ghost Fighting Steel Ice and one other one. So yeah, Chikorita would not be a good choice for the Johto gyms. Well it would be a very tough time. So Typhlosion's strongest against free. What about Totodile? Yeah, yeah. Typhlosion is definitely the best choice in uh, Johto, thinking about it. Uh, maybe I should have picked another Pokemon. Like, you know, to uh, to go through this region for more of a challenge, considering Typhlosion is arguably probably the easiest, like, it will have the easiest time to using Typhlosion. But, again, this is just a bog-standard, simple Let's Play. No challenges or anything like that at all. If I was doing some sort of challenge thing with this Let's Play, then maybe I would have done something. But you know what? This Let's Play has and always will be just a simple nostalgic playthrough of one of my favourite games ever made. Alright, there we go. One more Pokemon Trainer defeated. And now we need to think about this puzzle. Hey, what? Well, let's go down the middle. Hello, let's talk to you. Ah, there's Price. Check out my parallel turn. Alright. 
let's see what your parallel turn is like. Jill. Another Dewgong. Okay, probably best again to switch out because you're probably going to use a water type move on me. Also, I just realised I did not change the settings, did I? Whoops! <laughs> there I was talking about not having challenges, and yet in every gym battle that I've had, I've always changed the settings, so I'm on like set instead of shift in the gyms. I knew I'd forget to. I knew I, I would completely forget about that. So you know what? Even though it's kind of pointless now, let's just change it. <laughs> it's kind of pointless to do that now. Right. Okay. Let's have a look around here. Let's talk to you. I know Price's secret. And really now? All right. What is Price's secret? Yeah, the problem with the Ice Gym is that some of the Pokemon are also water types. But that's fine because I have a backup for that. Yep, not much experience points for that. Ah, Cloister. Okay, that seems a bit more stronger. Ooh, you actually managed to go attacking. Ice shot. Didn't do much damage though, which uh, is disappointing for you, whatever your name was. Yep, no match against Ampharos there. And of course, Ampharos still has the, what you call it, the Shell Bell. And you finish off with a Seal. Actually, it might not be a bad idea just to start you with Ampharos against Price rather than Typhlosion. But no, no, we'll start with uh, Typhlosion. And we'll just have to switch things around in case uh, Price has a Pokemon that's also a water type. Hey, let Espeon level up again. Nice. All right, what is Price's secret? The reason Price is strong is because every day he sits on top of a very cold, of very uh, on top of very cold ice and trains his body and spirit. Okay, that's really helping. Anyway, how do we get to Price? Let's have a look. We need to move a few things around. And I think I just worked it out, actually. So if I move you there, that means I can go this way, go that way, up that way, that way, and then there. There we go. Easy. I'm not even going to bother healing my Pokemon. We're just going to go straight to it. Pokemon have many experiences in their lives, just like we do. I, too, have seen and suffered much in my life. Since I am, a, I am your elder, let me show you what I mean. I have been training Pokemon since before you were born. I do not lose easily. I, Price, the Winter Trainer, shall demonstrate my power. Alright, Price, bring it on! Let's see what kind of Pokemon you have. You only have three Pokemon, so that's not too bad. And you have started with Seal, which is not ideal, but fortunately, I'll switch out immediately to Ampharos. So no big deal, unless you have some sort of secret move. Ah, hail, that's not too bad. It's just got just a bit of a hailstorm inside, nothing to worry about. Yeah, interestingly, it also affects seal. Hmm. So I know seal's a water type, I didn't check if it was also part ice type, I can't remember if it is. I mean, it should be thinking about it. But I wouldn't... Um, although maybe I'm thinking of sandstorm. That, because I know sandstorm doesn't affect certain Pokemon types. But maybe Hail just affects every Pokemon regardless. Across the speed fell, but that's not too... I'm not too concerned by that. See, it was buffed by the Hail. Actually, because it's now in the red, I wonder if Price will foolishly use a um, potion on it. 
He does! He actually does use the potion! I had a feeling he would. You wasted a potion on your weakest Pokemon. That, my friend, was a terrible mistake. <laughs> oh, oh man, I had a feeling you were gonna do that. Yeah, you just wasted a potion on your first Pokemon. Not a good idea, if I say so, uh, Price. Anyway, what are you gonna send out next? Pile of swine. You're part ground type, aren't you? That's gonna be slightly concerning. I think you're part ground type. Huh. I could send out Typhlosion, but you might use a. I can't use Dragonair either. Screw it, we'll take the chance. Ooh, using Blizzard, okay. That's fine. It shouldn't affect our version too much. And thankfully, it didn't uh, freeze, which is good. I know the hail didn't affect Pile Swine. Huh. Oh, I don't know. I don't even know anymore. Uh, should I just use Lava Blue? Yeah, you know what? Let's just use Lava Blue. Why not? Oh, -ho -ho! wow. Yeah, you had no chance. The hail stops. There we go. And unsurprisingly, your last Pokemon is Dugong. So that was your strongest Pokemon. Interesting. Uh, so your strongest Pokemon is level 34, which is actually lower than um, Jasmine Steelix. Because I'm pretty sure that was level 35, wasn't it? Aurora Beam, but that's fine. Let's use Discharge. Ooh, Dugong's faster than Ampharos, though. Hang in there, Ampharos. I know you can do it. I don't know if it will knock it out, but it should be pretty close. Oh, that is just mean. That is just mean. Willow is my middle name. Willow is flexible and not easily broken. I am not giving up yet. You are hanging on by the skin of your teeth. Well, I think it's safe to say this battle definitely won't be going the same way as our battle against uh, Chuck that time. Anyway, you're probably going to use a potion. Indeed, you are full restore because you're cheeky like that. But again, complete waste of time there. Because not only can I just use my strongest attack just to lower your health again. And in fact, knock it out. <laughs> But uh, I'm going to uh, heal up my health quite a bit. There we go. Ah, there we go. I defeated Price. Hmm, seems my luck has run out. Well, that was pretty easy. I'm impressed by your prowess. With your strong will, I know you will overcome all life's obstacles. You are worthy of this badge. Yeah, the Glacier Badge. That badge will raise the special stats of Pokemon. It also lets your Pokemon use Whirlpool to get across real Whirlpools. And we get TM7. So now that we can use Whirlpool, we can actually check out the World Islands. But I don't think it's worth doing that immediately. Yeah, the Hailstorm damages all types except Ice. Yeah, I thought so. So that means Seal is not part Ice type, it's only Water type. Huh, interesting. I kind of hoping you'd use some more ice type Pokemon price. I mean, there were quite a few. I mean, we saw that one of the trainers used a Jinx, so you could have used a Jinx, but no, nope, you had a seal. A seal that's not even a nice type. Oh well. But what can I say? I'm not a gym leader, I'm just a Pokemon trainer challenging the gyms. Uh oh, we're getting a call from Professor Elm. Jono, how are things going? I call because something weird is happening with the radio broadcasts. They were talking about Team Rocket. Jono, do you know anything about it? Maybe Team Rocket has returned. No, that just can't be true. Sorry to bug you. Okay, interesting. So you know what? Let's have a little listen to the radio. Uh-oh. It's been three years, but we've rebuilt the team and restructured. We're proud to announce that we're back. 
Giovanni, can you hear this? We finally did it! Where could the boss be, I wonder? I wonder if he heard this announcement. Right, okay. So all the stations... All the stations... Have the same thing going. That is not a good sign. That is not a good sign at all. So, I think... I think we're going to have to check out what's going on. And I think that means we're going to have to head back to Goldenrod City. And to specifically to the radio tower. Because something is definitely happening there. But we're going to have to check that out next time. It's time for me to end today's recording. But yep, I'll be back very soon with some more Pokemon Soul Silver. And we will be checking out what the hell is going on with the radio broadcast. So... For the time being, thanks very much for watching everyone, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and until next time, I shall catch you all later.